That with the red liquid is a hummingbird feeder. And I make the red liquid with sugar and water and I boil it up till it's you know, a nice syrup. Put a little red food coloring in there. And I made too much so I stored the rest in the refrigerator. I know it would spill all over the place and I had to clean out the whole refrigerator drawers and everything I had to take everything out clean it with soap and water and bleach so I have just what I need in there the day is not starting off too terribly well I have to leave about now to go and make it on time for that psychological study and I have to take a really quick shower because that sticky sugar water got all over me too I'm at the psych building, the psychological area studies, rich houses. This is a really rich neighborhood. Really pretty day. It's stinking hot though. So I'm waiting for my contact person. I have about 15 minutes. Someone's to meet me at five minutes till. And then I put like a little hang tag in the car so that it doesn't get ticketed. I'm parked in a psych study patient parking lot space, so there's no one else there, just me. But you never know. I don't remember it. E. Nine. P. Seven N one W. I made thirty bucks. Two hours of questionnaires and stuff. Well, since I'm down in the neck of the woods, I'm on the hill, which is the Italian, oh, the old Italian area of St. Louis. I'm going by Viviano and Sons Grocery. Hopefully to get some bread, maybe, maybe a couple snacky things in Italian. I'm in Old Town St. Charles, brick streets, bumpy brick streets behind a streetcar. <laughs> Trying to get to the other end of the street where there's a pizza place. I am kind of stressed. Cat and I are having pizza tonight. Really good pizza too. Not not pizza hype. Yee-hoo! Bessie get the buckboard. This is bumpy. Old Town St. Charles was the first capital of Missouri. Now it's Jefferson City. They hold the Festival of the Little Hills here. And they also hold the Oktoberfest in St. Charles. Later, closer to September. There's a British shop in St. Charles here that sells British things. Quaint little knick-knacky places. And busloads of old people come to shop. I'm going to hang it up now because it's too friggin' bumpy. Holy moly. That's a hospital I used to work at. Glad I'm not going the other way because I know about a half mile down the road the other way is a big accident so people are backed up for miles. It's bad enough I have to wait here. There's people turning around and people trying to get on the highway, which is clogging stuff up. Ooh, look at the new Jeeps. I'll pick the orange one. That way they can't say I didn't see her coming. Perfect timing. The bacon house next door is having a lawn cut. I had a hard time backing in. You want some pizza? Is that a dumb question? Yeah. <laughs> Want some pizza? I'm gonna stop and clean myself. Yeah? Okay. This is a New York style pizza from Talena's Pizza. Hmm. It doesn't look as good as it normally does. The middle doesn't looks almost gummy. I hope it tastes good. It usually is good from them. This is a cooling gel pad thing that you fill with water. It's got like a foamy thing inside. 
and I've been lying on it. It's actually pretty cooling. So I'm testing it out myself. This was like a gel pad that's supposed to be used so they sell it for dogs to keep them cool in the summertime, you know. But it's actually not bad. I got it so that the cat could be cool because when it gets really hot around here it looks like roadkill, you know. But uh, it's actually not bad. I may have put a little too much water in it. But because uh, it makes noise when I move around on it. That was that, not me. That was <laughs> it makes it makes noise. It's like a waterbed kinda. Yeah, and it's very comfortable. I got the shadow of the of the camera in my face. Ah. It's cooler on the floor than it is anywhere else. It's actually nice down here. If I could get up without any problem, I'd probably spend more time on the floor. <laughs> hi. Say hi to all your fans. You have fans, you know. You want something? Get his tail wiggling. So you tail wiggling. What you need there, buddy? Huh? Bet you want some more P-I-Z-Z-A. Yeah, lying there on the floor, and all my fat. I look like Jabba the Hutt's mother. Oh my God! Definitely yes, I know. No more pizza. No more soda. No more beer. No nothing. I really need to tighten the belt and tighten the purse strings. Need to get back to decluttering and sorting and pitching and all that good stuff. And I need to go upward and onward. <laughs>